Namaskar. In the headlines today, 736th session of mass contact exercise held. Formed farewell accorded to senior officers and employees on superannuation and program on diabetes and its management organized. Now the news in detail. The 736th mass contact exercise on the topic planning for turnaround and transformation by galvanizing inner strength was held at the Gopabandhu Auditorium on 1st March. Mr. Parmananda Sahu, EDMM, chaired the session. Mr. P.K. Mahanti, GM in charge mills and auxiliaries, was also present on the dais. Many senior officers and a cross-section of employees from different units of RSP participated in the session. In his address, Mr. Sahu exhorted everyone to work towards zero rejection with improved quality. He urged everyone to maintain the technical discipline and increase the availability of equipments to achieve quality products at a cheaper price so as to have an edge over the competitors. He stressed on the need for adopting safe practices always. He reposed faith in the RSP collective for rising to the occasion and for keeping RSP at the top. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Mahanti elaborated on a four-pronged strategy for the improvement in the NSR. These were production of more special steel products from the new facilities, increasing volume of production, optimization of costs, and preventive maintenance. He also emphasized on adherence to safety protocols at all times. At the outset, a video film on water conservation produced by PR department was shown. Mrs. Barkha Sharma, OCT, Power Distribution, and Mr. Alok Kumar Jana, SOST, OBBP, elaborated on safety, plan for turnaround and transformation strategy, production targets, township intervention, and status of employee suggestions. Information regarding sale and RSP's social media links was also shared on the occasion for wider information and accessibility of the employees. The regulation of water supply in the township as a preparation for the coming summer months was also informed to the House. Later, during the interaction session, employees gave suggestions pertaining to production, productivity and maintenance issues. Mrs. Annapurna Behra, Assistant Manager HRD, coordinated the session which ended with a pledge-taking ceremony. The senior officers and employees who superannuated from the company's service were accorded fond farewell in different functions held on 28 February. In a function organized at CEO's conference hall, Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO RSP, presented the service certificates and gifts to Mr. Sunil Kumar, GM Projects, and Mr. Tarun Kumar Mukherjee, GM OBBP, who superannuated on 28 February. Also present on the occasion were Dr. A.K. Singh, Director in Charge, MNHS, Mr. P. Sahu, EDMM, several general managers and other senior officers of RSP. CEO and other senior officers reminisced the significant contributions made by both the general managers in their respective areas and wish them a happy and peaceful post-retirement life. Both Mr. Sunil Kumar and Mr. T.K. Mukherjee thanked SAIL RSP as well as CEO and their senior and junior colleagues for their unstinted support. In a similar function held at ED Works Conference Hall, Mr. P.K. Mahanti, GM in charge mills and auxiliaries presented the service certificates and gifts to Mr. Gautam Ray Chaudhary, DGM in charge coal chemicals operation, Mr. Amritunj Mishra, DGM steel melting shop 2 operation, Mr. Mohan Gauda, DGM centering plant 1 electrical, Mr. Pratap Kumar Ray, DGM ERW PP operation, Mr. Naresh Chandra Mahanti, DGM Coal Chemicals Operation, Mr. Himanshu Shekhar Patel, DGM Centralized Maintenance Electrical. A warm send-off was also accorded to Mr. Tarun Kumar Mukherjee, GM OBBP. Mr. P. Sahu, EDMM, presented the service certificates and gifts to Mr. Nursing Charan Das, DGM MM Purchase, in a farewell function held at Materials Management Department. Another function was held at Computer and Information Technology Department to accord a warm farewell to Mr. Amulya Kumar Sahu, DGM CNIT Department. Mr. B. A. Masudi, GM FNA, presented them service certificates and gifts. 63 employees, including seven executives up to the grade of senior manager, were accorded a warm farewell in a function organized at Civic Center. The spouses of the employees who were also present were felicitated. Mr. Atanu Bhamik, General Manager, Blast Furnaces, was the chief guest on the occasion and presented gifts and service certificates to the superannuating employees. Mr. S. K. Tiwari, DGM Personnel, General Administration, was the guest of honor. Mr. S. Barapanda, Senior Manager, Personnel, was the Master of Ceremony. 
A health awareness program on diabetes and its management was organized on 23rd February at Abhigyan Training Center at OHSC. In all, 37 employees attended the program. The session was conducted by Dr. Saroj Kumar Raut, Medicine Specialist IGH. Topics covered during the session were global scenario with reference to type 2 diabetes with special emphasis on Indian context. Ways of reducing early onset of diabetes in pre-diabetes patients through dietary restrictions and physical exercises were also explained. During the feedback session, the participants shared their views and concern about the disease. Earlier, Dr. T. Mishra, Senior Deputy Director in Charge, OHSC, welcomed the gathering, while Mr. R. K. Tripathi, Assistant Manager, OHSC, coordinated the program. That's all in this edition of Rockland News. Namaskar.